I've been using YouTube now as long as I can remember, <laughs> many years, over 10 plus years. And I only discovered this now recently. I don't know if it's a new feature or whatever, but um, this is for people, for example, a school teacher wants to show a YouTube video. So they want to link up onto YouTube and show a video and you don't want ads to pop up because sometimes there are inappropriate ads that might pop up and the children are underage. So you just want to use it for the video or you're doing a business seminar and you want to show a snippet of a YouTube video. You don't want on the speakers as you're loading the thing, all the music of the ads to play and selling things that are not appropriate. Or the other case scenario, which I find with myself is if you do a video on nutrition, say you have a company and you're doing nutrition and you send the YouTube link, then what happens is a competitor's uh, ad pops up there and they promote the competitor and then you sort of sit there looking a bit uh, sort of anxious that the competitor's video is showing before your presentation that you want to do. So the best way to deal with that is to change the uh, URL. Try not to put in things like ad blockers and that. It messes up with your programs because you might be on another browser and you want to look at something that's just a normal uh, visual and then it says it can't do it because there's an ad blocker, etc. Uh, generally, creatives make their, and content creators make their income partially from having these adverts pop up there. So do support them if they're giving you the content, but it's for these exclusive moments. Okay, so how do we do it? Let's look at, where are we? Okay, maybe Stain City, let's see what that comes up with. Okay, that's what we're looking. So this is an advert that comes up. If you want to avoid this, this is the process you go to. You go to the URL, you click in it, and when it selects there, you just click again because you want to edit. And then you'll see the whole URL coming out. So this is the part you see. It says after the forward slash watch question mark V equals. And then it gives you this code here. You want to go from including the equal sign, go back just to before the forward slash. And you're going to replace that with the word embed, E-M-B-E-D, and a forward slash. So you're going to go e m B E D and forward slash. Okay, and then you take that link and that's the link you share. And what will happen is that instruction will remove the sort of other related videos here and all ads. So you'll just see the video fully. Okay, so I'm going to open up a window incognito just to show you how that works. So I go control shift in and we'll paste it in here and I'll press enter and check this out. The video arrives here with you, full screen. No ads, nothing. It's just full screen and you can watch it. So this is a great way in making sure that your presentation of your video isn't interfered with, uh, with things that you don't anticipate and just keep it clear. Again, my bottom line is if you are just watching it at your home, you know, support the ads. The ads pay uh, a little bit to the creators to help them create this content for all of us. Okay, have a fantastic day, be blessed and shalom.